Sources say that chilling guilty plea is the latest example that we've entered a dangerous new phase with al-Qaeda. It's now clear that in the span of only three months, al-Qaeda launched two separate attacks against the U.S. homeland. This morning, we now know Naji Bulazazi admitted to planning an al-Qaeda suicide mission against the New York subway system last September, near the anniversary of 9-11. I don't feel safe at all when I hear stuff like that. Zazi told authorities when they confronted him last September, he was just days away from setting off bombs in the subway. This attempted attack on our homeland was real. It was in motion, and it would have been deadly. The same could be said about the Christmas Day al-Qaeda plot to blow up an airliner. Senior law enforcement officials tell ABC News that al-Qaeda has apparently decided it will no longer solely pursue a 9-11 scale attack killing thousands. No sources say the group has made a strategic decision to pursue smaller scale attacks inside the U.S. to simply get on the scoreboard. They want to see bodies sprayed all over the place and they want to punish us. This is absolutely what they want to do. Make no bones about it. It accomplishes a number of things, aside from body count. It reaffirms that they are alive and well. Officials tell us right now concern is running high. A steady stream of intelligence all points to al-Qaeda actively planning more attacks, including intercepts of Islamic radicals bragging that something is coming and informants warning of the same. They've re reconstituted. They have a new cadre of people. They're younger just as motivated. U.S. officials are openly predicting another attack is coming soon. What is the likelihood of another terrorist attempted attack on the U.S. homeland in the next three to six months? High or low? Director Blair? An attempted attack, the priority is certain, I would say. None of this is pleasant to think about, but sources say it is the new reality.